It took me over half a decade of using DaVinci Resolve before I had realized how many days worth of time I had wasted by not learning what I'm about to teach you in the next four minutes. So let me show you how I set up my project settings and then save them as a default preset in DaVinci Resolve 17. Start by creating a new project, let's just call it preset and create. Now open your project settings in the lower right corner with that little cog icon. If I hit cancel, you can also jump to those settings with the shortcut shift nine. Starting in the master settings tab, keep your timeline at 1920 by 1080. I do this even when I'm delivering UHD, which is 3840 by 2160, but I don't change the timeline resolution until right before exporting a cut. This is just one of those little things that helps keep the computer performance running smooth. Resolution is flexible. However, the next setting we're gonna change is the timeline frame rate, which is much less flexible, but I do have a tutorial linked in the description that can get you out of trouble if you're stuck with this one. I changed the timeline frame rate to 23976, which is what I work with most of the time, unless it's a tutorial like this one. There is actually a difference between 24 and 23976. So unless you're using a cinema camera that is actually shooting 24, you should pick 23976. Then I changed the video monitoring format dropdown to HD 1080p 23976, which is gonna go out my Blackmagic mini monitor to a TV. A little further down, I often make proxy files and change the default proxy codec to ProRes 422 proxy here, which is gonna make it really easy to play back and edit files regardless of how they were shot. 4K, 6K, 8K, 12K, no problem once you create these new files. And then under working folders, I choose proxy generation location and set that to be a root folder on my main shuttle drive, which is a Samsung T7. Now let's take a look at the color management tab. Quick time out here on the color section. You can actually work with or without color management. I've been liking the new DaVinci wide gamut setting, so I do think it's worth your time if you're curious about it to check out the video that I have on this topic once this one's over. DaVinci color manage simplifies the process to get great and accurate results from log encoded footage. All right, change the color science to DaVinci YRGB color managed, and then drop down to the color management preset to DaVinci wide gamut. Next, under the capture and playback tab, scroll down to capture and set the save clips to folder also to a root folder on that shuttle drive that we had also set for our proxy media. This is mostly used for my scratch voiceover recordings. Now with all those settings dialed in, go up to the presets tab at the top, click save and save as, type a name like 1080p 2398 color managed. Now this can be loaded with the load button at any time on any project, but if you want this to be the default on every new project that you work on, just right click on it and choose save as user default config. That's it. Feel free to test this out by going to file, new project, call it whatever you like and check the project settings with shift nine and you should see all your favorite settings are dialed in perfectly. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Chadwick. This is Creative Video Tips. It's all about helping you create videos to make a difference and stand out. And if you're back from a previous video, <laughs> Thank you so much. It has been so fun to connect with you in the comments. It's incredible to connect with so many people from across the globe. Anyways, if you're into filmmaking and post-production, click subscribe right now down below with the bell so you don't miss out on the next tip. And after you've subscribed, click the playlist that I have on screen right now if you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve's little gotchas and pro workflows. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in that next video.